practice, but I want you to watch E.J. Liddell because that guy would maybe be one of the steals of the draft. Big, physical, mature player that really understands how to play and is versatile in terms of his strength and gets to the line. You know, how's this going to work out going to New Orleans? And we know the direction is trying to trend up there, but you're right. He brought a lot of leadership and brought a lot of winning as soon as he came. Oh, gee, Marshall, baseline jumper, good. John Petty Jr., the ball handler right now, was in the G League last year for Portland. Big time jump shooter out of Alabama, deep, deep range. Get a look at it right here. David love it very much. 63 million in the final year. He's going to be in the mid 40s the next three years. The remaining part of this contract as Petty hits another three out of the corner. Trailblazers five turnovers, one for seven from the field. Floater up and in. Colby Ross. Pepperdine's finest. Blazers two for eight shooting here in this first quarter with Colby Ross against Darion Sebrin, and it's Ross who converts. Steve Hetzel, the summer league coach, trying to find some rotation here, and they might have found some there on the dunk by Trendon Watford. Marshall can't hit on the weak side. Watford, nice move and a nice block by the New Orleans Pelicans. Oh, but, you know, I talked to him right after the games. He said, man, this is a more physical, more aggressive style of basketball. Uh, so he got beat up a little bit, but got a great chance to play. Played really good basketball, and, you know, I think we want to rest him. The, the message was always consistent. The emotion, the, the approach every day in practice, pre-game, post-game, yeah, halftime right. speeches Parker. were always very present. I mean, we're always very, uh, always positive throughout the whole time. And like you said, at 3-16, and 16, it was difficult. Uh, but he never doubted himself. The staff never doubted the, the message uh, every day and the approach. And I think it started after 3-16. and 16. We started going on a run. We started playing this type of basketball that, uh, that, that he wanted to see. That Willie Next level, real buttoned-up guy. I was so impressed. The hardest thing to do as a coach, the hardest thing to do as a coach is when, especially a young coach, is when you're struggling who could reflect back to this is what we did in phoenix this is what we did in golden state if we just stay the course and continue to do the right things and be consistent and not change but consistent in our beliefs and our vision have agility to maybe adjust but not change and that's what you saw happen in new orleans yep there's a buy-in and there's got to be a trust and willie green delivers that as the portland trailblazers as we get back to the summer league game Five minutes to go here in the half. Brandon Williams on the fadeaway and another basket. For every update this summer, get ready for the upcoming season by following all the big moves and breaking news. Portland's Walker scores and the run continues for the Blazers. 18 in a row. And they're doing it on the defensive end. They're contesting every shot. They're getting in passing lanes. They're getting deflections, which gets them an opportunity to play ahead of the defense. 18-0 run comes to an end. Trey Knight. Walker at 6-9. Great Wings pass. Span of seven feet. And another feed that time on the slam by Watford. Great cut, great pass. Again, Walker, eyes on the rim, sees the play and makes the pass. And, you know, I'm going to do a little uh, infomercial for the job that Tap World does at Colorado. He is a really good... And Gary Payton backing him up. Anthony Simons off guard Jeremy Grant who we haven't even talked about tonight as Trey Murphy with the big dunk there obviously you got Golden State coming off their championship Phoenix we'll see what happens with Phoenix you know there's some dominoes to fall there Harper makes a three-point from outside Denver wouldn't fall for him Watford from the corner good what a difference a quarter makes for the Portland Trailblazers. Seven pick overall in Shaden Sharp. Couldn't answer the bell tonight and actually is done for Summer League with Portland with the small tear in the labrum. New Orleans soldiering on and a score for Trey. I also like DJ Liddell being a little bit more aggressive, but you know, Jaden Ivey went out early today. Obviously, Sharp is, got banged up a little bit. You see Daniels go down, so. Good extra pass, three-pointer missed. 
Both teams struggling from distance so far in this game. Najee Marshall blocked that time by Keon Johnson. How far gone is it? You know, I mean, look, Kyrie Irving on an expiring deal. Kevin Durant's, you know, four-year contract. Oh, come in. So, I mean, like, what are you willing? Greg Cott. Greg Brown, the finish. Good young players. But their position, do they use that young players in this remaining window? with the core of the Warriors to go after a couple more championships to complete teams. End of the shot clock horn. Miss for Brandon Williams. Pelicans down 13, make it down 11. Johnson clears the rebound for the Blazers. Four minutes to go here in the third. Portland looking for its first win here at the Vegas Summer League, and a basket goes down for Trendon Watford. Be involved. So, and NIL, so what, all the things that stop them from being able to come back if they weren't drafted, basically is legal. So you're the perfect guy to ask this, though, as a college coach. Don't use all 13 scholarships. So you can say, you know what, I've got these two, I'm going to hold two scholarships. And that, the hard thing is, if those guys come back, then it impacts your rotation. The hard thing is, if those guys come back, then it impacts your rotation. It impacts guys that you recruited maybe out of the portal that... You know, maybe some of those guys were expecting to play. You could have guys back in the portal in August. As Watford scores on the extra possession. I'm brought over as the head coach. Been with Golden State. Steve Kerr the last few years. Won the championship. Darren Fox still there. Drafted Davion Mitchell last year. John Butler in the ball game out of Florida State now for New Orleans. You know, my games tomorrow are interesting because you got the Knicks. And they've got a lot of their veteran guys. But, you know, coming out of Duke, young, can really defend. Uh, Did you think he should have gone higher, or you think he was appropriately? I think he was appropriately. I mean, they, Duke got better when uh, Randall's got to be better and just deal with playing in New York. You know, R.J. Barrett's got to shoot it probably a little more consistently. So, re-signed Mitchell Robinson. I can relate to that. I coached in a couple of those games. That's why I'm sitting with you. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Well, we, we know the Pelicans will be more proficient with the guy, C.J. McCollum, who is standing by with our Dave McMenamin. In the building. And I have to imagine, as a former teammate and friend, you have to feel happy for him, thrilled for him. <laughs> wow, there's a... you got to take a moment to take that in, but... And firemen and policemen. And plumbers, exactly. Connection pass. Three pointer goes down for Murphy. Dave McMenamin earlier in this ball game, but done for the night. I was impressed. I was impressed. I was impressed with how he carried himself. I was impressed with his defensively. Uh, obviously, six seven. Same time. You know, look, we're winding down the evening right here in a game that has been a blowout for a while. But for the most part, you're the guy under the bright lights getting to play in a real game. He's a way, he, I love the way he played. Trimble has made some good defensive plays. Nice cut, Liddell, for the jam. Minutes. They do. I mean, whether it's Washington, Duarte. Or Jackson, Duarte. Yep. They got some guys who played. Three minutes to go. I think the officials got the memo. Coming up on the final minute here in Las Vegas. Alexander with the flush. Shot clock is off. And the Portland Trail Blazers, two games into the Summer League. Blazer fans who went the distance here tonight enjoying this win. 85-68 the final.